Bunny Bakes here in Squirrel Hill is rather new to the area. They just opened earlier this month, but they are the real deal from the pastries to the coffee and the people. They're making sure that this is a safe and welcoming space for all. When you hop into Squirrel Hill's newest business, you're greeted with a smile. Girl now. And business is booming at Bunny Bakes and Specialty Coffee. It's a simple concept. Great coffee paired with delicious homemade desserts. Okay, brownie, super popular. But its purpose and mission are far greater. Our hope is that when people walk in, they get to experience what an inclusive business can look and feel like and have a really positive association with that. Rivki Rudolph and her husband, Rabbi Morty Rudolph, head the team behind the Friendship Circle. The new shop has been a labor of love for the nonprofit, which focuses on inclusion. Our objective is to, you know, further employment opportunities for people with disabilities, uh, as well as bring the entire community into our mission of creating a more inclusive community. Rabbi Morty says the shop has a dedicated team right now of about 10 people. Around half are adults with disabilities. We have several bakers currently in a training program at Friendship Circle who we're hoping will also kind of be you know, moved into the bakery as needed as things grow and as we kind of like gain our footing and establish ourselves here. Something they are quickly doing thanks to the welcoming and inviting space that is ADA compliant and because of their dedicated employees who are now working alongside other local professionals like Chef Julie, whose previous stops include places like Oakmont Bakery. We always say like we want people to come in because of our mission, um, but they should stay because it's high quality coffee, high quality baked goods and a very nice space. And if you want to try it out for yourself, the shop here will be closed for the holiday weekend, but they are planning to resume normal operating hours come Tuesday morning. We have that information available for you at WTAE.com. Reporting from Squirrel Hill, I'm Lily Coleman for Pittsburgh's Action News 4.